turn with me to the book of Genesis chapter 30 I want to salute the presence of my brother Apostle Sam Isaka he looked like the guest speaker I don't understand amen amen I have a friend also that came all the way from your pastor Jonathan God bless you sir God bless you and mama you come and bless us as I'm getting done amen amen are you ready are you ready Genesis 38 verse 7 Genesis 38 verse 7 look at the scriptures everybody Genesis 38 7 Oh how you lift me from grass to the grave Jesus you lift me from the grass to the grave Jesus you lift me Jesus you lift me from the grass Jesus you lift me from the grass Jesus you lift me Jesus you lift me from the grass to the grave and uh, Judas firstborn was wicked in the sight of the Lord Genesis 38 7 and the Lord killed him and Judah said to Anan, Go in unto thy brother's wife, marry her, and raise up seed for thy brother. And Anan knew that the seed should not be his. And it came to pass, when he went in unto his brother's wife, he spilled it on the ground, lest he should give a seed to his brother and that in which he did displeased the Lord and the Lord killed him also I'm preaching on terminating the spirit of honor walk to three people tell them tonight God will terminate every spirit of honor around your life around your life around your life spirit of honor will be terminated by fire by fire every spirit of honor every spirit of honor stretch your two hands everybody i decree upon your life i say i decree upon your life i didn't hear you i said i decree upon your life every spirit of honor residing around your life residing around your destiny residing around your family after tonight god shall terminate them i say god will terminate them i say god will terminate them I say God will terminate them. I say God will terminate them. Lift your hands and say, Oh God! I didn't hear you say, Oh God! Terminate! Spirit of honor in my life. I say, Oh God! Terminate! Spirit of honor in my life. I say it for the last time, say, Oh God! How many sons? Two. Somebody said two. Two. The name of the first son was Er. And the Bible said Er was wicked in the sight of the Lord. And because of his wickedness, God killed him. When God killed Er, 
God was looking at Judah and his family. And the Bible said Judah called his second son. His name was Onan. He said to Onan, Onan my son, carry the brother of your wife. Marry her. When you marry her, raise children for your brother. What does it mean? It means if you sleep with her and she delivers a child, the child will carry his name. He said, carry your brother's wife, sleep with her, and raise children for your brother. But the Bible said, as soon as Onan carried the woman, Onan slept with the woman. When the seed was about to enter the woman, he came out and emitted the seed on the ground. And the Bible said, God was also angry with him, and God killed him. I want to show you five things that happens to the people who carry the spirit of honor. Who was honor? Honor is a man that can never give another man life. A man that can never give another man life. There are people under the sound of my voice. If you are in a position to help people, it is difficult for you to give another man life. Am I preaching to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? He says, sleep with her. But when she releases a child, that child will represent your brother. But because he was a wicked man, he refused to give the woman a child so that he cannot give the dead brother life. There are people under the sound of my voice. Anytime you see a man with the spirit of honor, they will have something to do for others. But instead of doing it, they will keep it and it will waste. Commander Bashanda. Am I preaching to somebody here? The day I came to the hospital to see your daughter in the hospital in Onisha, when I entered there, I saw another child who was lying lifeless. And I was looking at the child, small baby. They were giving the baby malt and milk. I asked the mother, I said, why are you giving this child malt and milk? The mother said, they said the child has no blood. We need blood, but there is no money for blood. So I now decided to give the baby mother milk and the nurses said they can do nothing until I bring money I said my people they went down to the car brought money I deposited for all the ones they have, they have treated I paid for the blood I gave her extra 40,000 I said in case if anything is coming up take and take care of it now how do you know a man that God will bless anybody God will bless is a man that enjoys giving life to others if you die today how many people can stand and say if not for you i will not go to school how many people can stand and say if not for you i will not wear good clothes how many people can stand and say if not for you i will not be where i am life is not about cars life is not about houses how many lives have you impacted a millionaire is not a man that has million in his account a millionaire is a man that has affected millions of lives am i am i preaching to somebody here am i talking to somebody here am i talking to somebody here god is not excited god is not excited when you buy your wife a car god is not excited when you send your children abroad god is not excited heaven does not reward you when you build a new house why building a house is your responsibility buying your wife a car is your responsibility you don't need reward from heaven it is your wife that will thank you it is your children that will thank you there is no reward from heaven the only time a reward comes from heaven is when you wipe the tears in another man's eyes. Ah, yes. 
woman but refuse to give her a seed that's wickedness wickedness of her the highest order very selfish there are people who are around you for only what they will get from you the day your life go down all of them will get out a man on the stage is a man the light is upon whenever you leave this stage that is when you will know how many friends you have the way good lord jonathan's phone was ringing when he was a president cannot be the way it is ringing now every call has diverted to buari but god has punished them buari does not answer call am i preaching to somebody here yes. am i am i talking to somebody here yes. anytime you are there there are people who come they sing your praise they call you good name they say it is you we know they say you are the best they clap for you they wash your car they wash your clothes everybody around you look at them very well are they there for selfish reason or are they there because they believe in your future there are people who are around you just because of what they will get there are also people who are around you because there is something they saw that they want to connect am i preaching to somebody here anybody who is around you for selfish reason i break that relationship now break that relationship now break that relationship now break that relationship now lift your hand and shout fire Take your seat. Ole Baranada Bahata. Bakote Shikata Bahate. Libra Dosha. So number one thing that the spirits of honor does is that they are selfish. They refuse to give others life. They refuse. Instead of their money to enter your account. There are some of you who have uncles. They are doing well. They have the ability to start business for you. And your life will change. But they cannot do it. Why? They enjoy you coming to beg them every time. There are people, whenever people call them for help, they are happy. Because that is where their joy comes from. Can I shock you? The devil is about to change. I said the devil is about to change. You, 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 you didn't hear what I said. I said the devil is about to change. Anybody who is above you that has refused to help you. Anybody who is on top of you that has refused to help you. Anybody who is ahead of you that has refused to bless you. I came to announce to you. The Lord said to me, it is not about he that started. It is about he that finishes. It's not about he that started. It's about he that finishes. It's not about he that started. Can you stand in a line for me? Stand in a line for me. Stand in a line for me. I need one more person. Stand in a line for me. Everybody hold each other. Hold each other. Can you move slowly? Small, small. Don't be fast. Be moving small, small. In life, uh, there are some of you listening to me. You are in my position. You are at the backside of life. Everything you do in life, you are late. Everything you do, you are behind. Your uncles are ahead of you. Your sisters are ahead of you. They are supposed to help you, but they don't want to help you. And you are asking God, Oh God, when will you remember me? Until 
you see my tears? Once you see my weeping, I try my best. I do my fasting. I go to church. I do all I should do. Yet I am behind. I get to announce to you: if you are behind, kill yourself. The Bible says the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. Look at what God is going to do. One of you turn, just turn, turn, turn. You just turn and follow me. Look at what God is gonna do. God is about to turn the line. God is about to turn the line. God is about to turn the line. I see you overtake your enemy. Enemy. I see you overtake your enemy. I see you overtake your enemy. I see you overtake your enemy. No be person we get today, get tomorrow. Uh -huh. Life they turn like this. I Am I communicating here? Yes. Oh, one name is Tuari. Uh -huh. oh, one name is yes. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. I will say, uh -huh. I will have mercy. And whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion. And whom I will have compassion. It is not by power. It is not by mind. Yes. By my spirit, says the Lord. It is not of him that will it. Not of him that run it. But of God that show it mercy. Uh -huh. In the arms of flesh, no man shall prevail. Yes. You may be behind. Uh -huh. It does not matter. Yes. I carry you to the front in the name of Jesus. of others it fights the prophecy so in the destiny of sister Tama it was written in her destiny that she will be a great grandmother of the Messiah is that destiny is that destiny it has come a shatter because if, the, if you read the scripture in the book of Matthew chapter 1 from verse 3 if you read the scripture the genealogy of Jesus he said and Abraham begat Judah so Abraham begat Isaac Isaac begat Jacob and Jacob begat Judah and his brethren and Judah begat Perez and Zara of Tamar 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 was the great grandmother of Jesus you the existence of Jesus without mentioning Tamar. That Tamar was a harlot. Tamar was the lady who stood by the like a harlot by the side of the road. But in her destiny, it was written that one day when you shall be mentioning about the Messiah, she must be mentioned. So Onan saw the prophecy on her head, and Onan said, Over my dead body shall this prophecy come to pass. Uh, uh, hey. Those who have the spirit of honor are those that fight the prophecy of others. God said, you will marry this month. And you say amen. And the man is coming. And the man comes to you and says, I want to marry. And you open your mouth and tell that your friend who you trust so much, they are about to come for my introduction. Your friend will go behind, collect the number of the man from your phone and scandalize your name. What is she doing? The spirit of honor is manifesting in her life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm not preaching here. Yes. Something happened in Abba. About six years ago, about six years ago, something happened. A sister, Assemblies of God, 125 Road. The sister was about to get married. Her 
friend very prayer partner in the church told her I'm about marrying everything they were doing together in the trap wedding they were together few days to the wedding this friend of hers arranged something in the hotel in the hotel in number hill they call the quarter hotel go to the hotel with a man called her friend who was about to wait he said can you come over my fiance has come in for your wedding the wedding was on friday on saturday that thing was happening on thursday he said my fiance that i told you you know i told you after your wedding i'll wed my own so that my fiance is in town come and see him so the friend was coming in happiness and in joy that her friend was wedding after her when she arrived at the hotel they were in the hotel without knowing that they have arranged they brought the, the, the waste paper basket there they opened some condoms and put there took some tissues and put there and when she entered she she they, there was only one chair so the lady was sitting on the chair the lady who arranged it the person that is supposed to be the fiance was on singlets and boxers on the bed and when this sister entered there was no place to sit than the bed so she just sat down by the bed and they were gisting when they were gisting the sister that invited her to come went outside took her phone and called the husband to be and said if you want to know who you are about to marry come to Lakota hotel now your wife is about to pay her last respect to her boyfriend before <laughs> The man left area area where he was. Entered transport. Ran to Lekota. The lady said, if you come, go straight to this room. So the lady went back to the room. Stayed for some time. And says that the guy was almost close. Went out again. Said, let me bring something. Why she went out? Suddenly, the husband barged into the room. Bam and saw the wife to be sitting on the bed saw a young man with singlet and boxers looked at the waste paper basket that were used condoms and there were toilets and everything seriously arranged and packaged the young man looked at her and said so this is what you do and you claim to be a christian this marriage is <laughs> will not come to pass I prophesy I see my God shall disappoint her I say my God shall disappoint her my God shall disappoint if I hear your amen two times God will disappoint your enemy they left when they left when he when when they left when he left sister started crying he said i can't know i don't know what happened blah 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 you know like play like play the news circulated wow the wedding was cancelled friday passed saturday morning she wore her wedding gown in tears in tears she came down from their house and came down in front of the sun she knelt down people were looking at her she was crying and weeping she said lord except you are dead except you are not in heaven except you are not god except you are not alive anybody who arranged this cannot go free she was weeping the mother came down carried her and went up and after the whole thing in the evening the same girl the friend who arranged it was in an okada moving the okada had a fatal accident the girl was at the point of death when they rushed her to the hospital that same saturday evening she was about to breathe her last she was confessing he said please if before i die help me beg sister get you i was the one that arranged it i was the one that did this and that he said what are you saying he said i am the one and it was not one person that was there there were plenty church members that were in the hospital she confessed the truth came out before Kechi could arrive the scene and the hospital the young lady was dead and the young man heard it came back to her knelt down and was begging he said the wedding continues tomorrow 
and the wedding happened on Sunday morning. Stretch of dreams. Whoever that has vowed that so long as they are alive, your prophecy cannot come to pass. May their eyes not see the fulfillment of your prophecy. I say, whoever that has vowed that your eyes will never see good things, whoever that has vowed that your prophecy will not come to pass, I stand in the name of the Lord and I begin to prophesy. Let your eyes not see the fulfillment of your prophecy. See the fulfillment of your prophecy. If I hear your amen, God will answer you better. If I hear your amen, God will answer you better. If I hear your amen, God will answer you better. Take your seat. Motakula Bahata. Number three, somebody say number three. Number three. Uh, say number three. Number three. Say number three. Number three. The spirit of honor is a spirit of wickedness. Wickedness. How do I mean? They will allow you to walk with them. But when they should pay you the labor of your work, they will deny you. He allowed the woman to pull off her clothes. Allowed the woman to walk with him. But when the woman will be blessed by his seed, wickedness entered. There are people in your life, they may be your boss. They allow you labor and suffer. We live in a wicked world. A world where a young man will leave his family and go to serve a man for eight years. After eight years of service, the man and the wife will cook up story inside their bedroom. Come out! And say this is what the guy did. This is what he did. And before you know, labor of eight years will end without any payment. Uh, uh. The spirit of honor, they will allow you to work with them, but they cannot pay you. I am Amanda. Wickedness. 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 You labor with them. You struggle with them. You fight with them. You do all you can with them. But when you should receive the fruit, life shatters. Are there people under the sound of my voice? Don't cry. Are there people under the sound of my voice who are listening to me right now? Who are saying, Lord, Lord, there is somebody I worked for. There is one man. He's been holding my money for three years, for four years, for five years. And the worst part of it is that anytime you talk about the money, they cannot say anything to you. They will intimidate you because they are greater than you. They will intimidate you because they are bigger than you. They will tell you we cannot and they will not. They are bigger than you. If you go to police, they have longer legs than you. So there is nothing you can do. They are complete wicked people. Wicked people. Wickedness everywhere. There are men that are listening to me. Wherever you are watching me from all over the world. Whether from the television. There are some men who are listening to me. Their wives, when they married their wives. They had nothing. They were broke. They were poor. That lady saw you as a poor church rat. Believed in your future. Entered your life. Struggled and labored and labored with you. And now that life has gotten better. You cannot spare one farthing for her. When she asks for something, you intimidate her with big drama. And you make her secondary. Because there are plenty of other girls right now who are running around your life shaking their small bomb bomb around you and you are looking at them like they are the best forgetting that if they had met you when your wife met you they would never believe in you any lady who sees a married man and opens her mouth and tells the man i love you that lady is a thief is a thief there is no 
young girl that loves a married man what they love is your pocket the day pocket grows dry love will expire and even when it goes dry it is still that wife of yours that will be there so why treat her bad are you not a wicked man wickedness i know men i was talking to somebody i saw the wife the wife was looking haggard and battered looking like a lulu mutete i could not comprehend i couldn't deal i said ah, ah, why is why is your wife like this he said when you start giving them now they'll start taking advantage so I, I i i i built a wall i restrict i restrict i don't i don't but she was he will say somebody somewhere who he does not know he can spare hundred thousand fifty thousand buy brazilian with one for girls who who when you give them money they'll take it and give a smaller boy buy wig and weave on costly and your wife is using wool to dye her hair what god will judge is plenty that is why some men when their business start going down they'll be running around from pillar to post who is after me who is after me my uncle my auntie sometimes your problem is not uncle and auntie your wickedness is after your life with this woman pay her the deals by emitting inside her he emitted on the ground that's wickedness i beg you in any way you've been wicked if there is any atom of wickedness you see in your life correct your life from today change from it from today whoever who is around you must receive the reward of whatever they have labored for i came to talk to you like my people if you have a maid in your house and that maid has been in your house in the name of god who lives in heaven treat your maid well don't treat them like children that you pick from gutter because the same way you get back to your own is the same way their mother get back to her speak to me Huh? I told you one day here I said there are some women that will be going to heaven on their way to heaven as they will be going majestically the God will say oh yeah you cannot enter as they want to enter their maid will shout from behind God if they enter you are partial because of how they have treated them when they were in the world you've not seen people who treat their maids bad you've not seen you've not seen Every day the girl is having stomach problem. Why won't she have stomach problem when the soup she is eating was cooked three months ago? Your own children eat fresh food. Three months soup that burnt well is what you give her. And if she doesn't eat it, you beat her that she's wasting your food. God is watching. Look, I never say neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Deal with the spirit of honor. Deal with the spirit of honor. Say don't be wicked. Don't be wicked. Say don't be wicked. Wickedness can cut short your blessing. Can I close this service? Number what now? Number four. Somebody say number four. Say number four. Number four. Say number four. Number four. The spirit of honor is the spirit of ingratitude. Ingratitude. Write it down ingratitude is the spirit of ingratitude is the spirit of ingratitude is a spirit that makes you it makes people they don't appreciate anything good you know for that lady to give on and herself on and should have appreciated it but he did not there are people no matter what you do to them they can't appreciate they are so arrogant and saucy that when they ask you for 500 naira and you manage to give them 100 they look at it like is it common 100 that you give me no matter how little people help you appreciate the little you get so that more can come ingratitude delays your gratuity from god 
when you show God gratitude, he gives you fortitude for a higher altitude. In life, anytime you become a thankful person, your thank will be full. Because only thankful people get full thank all the time. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. When you appreciate the little I do, I do more. God healed 10 lepers. Jesus, sorry. Healed 10 lepers. Only one came to show appreciation. Now, when he came, Jesus said to him, Thou are made what? I made what? Oh. What does it mean? What is leprosy? When leprosy eats your hand, your hand becomes like this. So, ten of them were healed. But when they were healed, their hands were still like this. When one of them came, Jesus said, you are made whole. The hand grew. Bim. That's what that scripture means. But the other nine were healed though, but their hands were still like this. Am I preaching here? Whenever you give God thanks, He makes you whole. He restores all you have lost. Show me a man who is appreciative. I will show you a man that God cannot restrain anything from. Show me a man who is appreciative to a fellow man. I will show you a man that people cannot restrain from doing things from them. An arrogant man cannot get anything. Am I preaching here? Am I preaching here? place your right hand on your hand say lord oh. kill the spirit of arrogance in my life oh no 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 say better say lord, lord. kill the spirit of arrogance in my life kill the spirit of arrogance in if my you life. can say it better god will he kill it in your life now in the name of jesus hey. let me talk about the last one and i'll close amen the spirit of honor is the spirit of pride the spirit of what? Is the spirit of what? Somebody say pride. Say pride. Say pride. How many of you know that pride goes before downfall? How many of you know? The Bible said the Lord resists the proud and he gives it grace. To who? To who? Say to the humble. Any proud man cannot go far. A proud pastor cannot take advice from his members. Sometimes you do it wrong. Advices from people can keep you straight. We don't know it all. Nobody is, a, is Holy Ghost. We know in part. We prophesy in part. We see in part. We act in part. We don't do it full. So sometimes you need the help of others. To become full and a proud person cannot say i'm not doing it wrong right it takes humility to accept that you are wrong am i communicating here onan was a proud man and god killed him say and god killed him i beg you any atom of pride in you kill it today anybody you see that when he talks he talks i i i i i i i that person is a proud man I, 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 I. There's, that, there's a friend of mine. Anytime I'm with him, the kind of testimonies I hear, they can make you hang yourself. Hey, man of God, how are you doing? I said, fine. He said, nah, have you heard? I'm building an estate now. I, I, I've spent over 97 million. I'm yet to spend more. You know, I, 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 that my travel now, I went with a chartered aircraft. I chartered, I chartered. If you hear testimonies, you wonder where these lies are coming from. Whether they are coming from heaven, hell, or purgatory. You don't, you, you'll be confused. Anytime he sees you, he wants to intimidate you with testimonies that are not true. So, when, when, when we gather and he starts talking, some people will say, hi Jesus, hi, hi, hi. I'll be looking at him. Hi. Hi. And that kind of person can make you enter error. You will try to do all you can to meet up to him and you enter error. So you know what I did? Because I know that anytime he sees you, he talks about I, 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 
I started avoiding him. For over one year and six months, I've not set eyes on him. You know why? I'm not ready for testimonies. Keep it to yourself. We we'll thank God for you. Others are coming. Am I preaching to somebody here? Am I preaching to somebody here? Whenever you talk and in your statement, you say, I, 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 I. God is not happy. Can't you open your mouth and say, yes, I'll be in Abuja tomorrow by the grace of God. That makes you a humble man. By the grace of no, I'm going to fly to Abuja. From Abuja, I'll fly to Lagos. And then in Lagos, I'll meet with people for two days. And then I'll fly to Kubwa. From Kubwa, I'm going to go back, come back to Oweri. So I thought, I don't have time. I don't have time. So I, I've just been away for one week. I'll fly to Malaysia. Are you getting me? So that is it. My diary is fully booked. So so you can see it is fully booked. There is nowhere you, they will put by the grace. Is it by your power? No man they get this honor upon himself. If God be not with him. God resists the proud. One day. A man in the Bible. His name was Nebuchadnezzar. He decided to be a proud man. And God looked at him. God said you don't they do. You don't they do. Mind yourself. He did not hear the voice of God. And the day God remembered him. God reduced him. To the minister of agriculture for seven years. He said, go and eat grass. He entered inside the bush and became an animal. Animal. Ani you know, there's a difference between animal and animal. He became an animal. And that was, that was brutal. You know, God didn't tell us the kind of animal he was. So meaning that God gave him grace to be every animal. That was why lion did not eat him. When lion sees him, he will look like a lion. Lion will say, this is a fellow lion. When God sees him, he will look like a god. God will say, this is a... So God gave him the anointing to represent every animal. <laughs> I hear, sir. And I'm a good one. Am I preaching here? Yes, sir. Little call Sha Korea Dabasha. For seven years. After seven years, God came. He said, Are you still proud? He said, No, I surrender. Oh, I surrender. You no, know, there are people that sing, they say, I surrender, I surrender some. This one he said, I surrender all, not some. And God said, Become a human being again. For seven years, be bearing no shiver. Who knows how he was looking? Nebu. For seven years, when God restored him, no be person tell him. Say there's a difference between half six and half a dozen. They are not the same thing. There's a difference between six and what? Half a dozen. No be person tell him. He became humble by force. The day Herod became proud, God sent an angel to slap him. He said, "How can you talk like a god?" What makes people get proud? Number one priority that makes people become proud are people that are around them. There are people that are not proud naturally, but people around you, there's a way they will sing your praise. You become proud unknowingly. That is why when people are singing your praise, be careful. The time I am most humble in my life is any time there's a great miracle in my ministry when there's a miracle is a time the devil enters to tell you don't you think you've arrived people say hi you are too much at that moment if you are not careful pride will start entering so whenever you do something heavy bring yourself down because that moment is the most critical moment when you build a house don't say it's by your power it is god am i preaching here am i preaching here show me someone who is succeeding today i'll show you a man who is never proud proud people end on time proud people stop halfway proud people don't fulfill their destiny look at that the ea 
the leader of the fastest growing church in the whole world redeem is the fastest growing church in the whole world every street you see five redeemed churches go to lagos go to apata everywhere even nobody everywhere everywhere is a church but you see have, have you seen him talk before very humble i was watching shiloh two years ago the day they were closing he came to shiloh because bishop Yodepo invited him to come and preach the last day to bless them when he arrived bishop Yodepo introduced him as his father in the lord he took the mic he said bishop how can you say i'm your father you're a bishop i'm a pastor i am pastor so you're a bishop i'm a pastor you see humility am i talking to somebody here no matter where god has taken you remain who you are don't change your life build it now if you get four billion tomorrow can we still see you in church a friend of one day one man blessed me with good money very good money bless me we are together i and him and two other people one of them asked me he said ah will you still preach for six months i said are you crazy he said because if it is him oh hmm, he will wait small travel flex i said you don't know what god called you to do time is short jesus is coming soon we need to walk am i talking to somebody here we need to do what even when i travel abroad i don't have time to go for sightseeing there are countries i've gone to i don't know how they look there are countries i've gone to the last time i was in china i think of the people that bought things that i bought for my family and wife and everything was people that i came to preach for i gave them money they went over i don't know how it looked from hotel to church church to hotel hotel to church church the day i finished preaching they say you will spend at least two days to go around and see the city i say okay that night I, I, went I went to the airport i flew back when they called me i said the time is too short to see sites too short remain who you are no matter the level you see yourself because the same god that gave it to you can equally collect it and give it to another person stand on your feet anywhere you are stand on your feet anywhere you are lift your two hands Ola manda shata tamaka baba bala raga de morono shigria takosa ezete tela madi ya lerebe darana ni koshi kata ni ya lama ebede ilori anda ba shagrata lift your two hands above your head I don't know the area that you are seeing the spirit of honor manifesting in your life but I'm going to lead you in a prayer and when you say that prayer you will begin to terminate if it is in the area of pride if it's in the area of ingratitude if you see yourself as a wicked man i don't know what you see in your life that represents the spirit of honor but as we shall begin to pray you will open your mouth and kill it and he shall die forever lift your two hands say my father i hear you say my father as i begin to pray yeah, you say as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, every spirit of honor, every spirit of honor, in my life, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for?
men are on fire. Amen. You're going to pray a prayer. Put your lift up two hands. Anybody who has vowed that your prophecy will not come to pass. Man of God, come. Stretch your two hands. Mota Kosha. You're going to pray that prayer. After you pray, the man of God is going to release grace upon your life. And every hanging prophecy, every prophecy that is hanging that has not been fulfilled shall begin to manifest from tomorrow morning. <laughs> Say my father, every hanging prophecy that are you waiting for? Anybody that has found my prophecy shall not be fulfilled. Let them die. Let them die. Put your mouth and pray. up wherever you are and the bible says an angel came to mary and said to her you shall have a child and his name shall be called emmanuel and mary looked at the angel and said how can these things be seeing i know no man you may not have anybody in the government you may not have anybody in the community but I see the prophecy hanging over your life coming to pass this city. Coming to pass this city. Coming to pass this city. Coming to end a sharp fire. Ah, lift the right hand up. Any man or woman that is standing as an honor in your life. Uh -huh. Who doesn't want life to come to you? Who doesn't want success to come to you? In the name of He who died and resurrected again, yes. I call them to cease existing. I command them to die by fire. Lift your right finger up. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. My father. Teach my finger how to battle. Teach my finger how to battle. Lift it up very well. We are in a serious business now. Something is about to happen here. Morosa. That man or woman that has refused you to move. That man that has been blocking your way in the spiritual realm. In the name of him who died and resurrected. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Yes, yes, yes. I command them to enter grave. Yes. I command them to enter grave. Yes. I command them to enter grave. Yes. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. That without him, yes, yes, Thomas' yes. name cannot be written in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. But God had a substitute. But God has a substitute. Anamanaga. Listen to me. There are people who thought that without them you cannot survive. Yes. God will raise an angel in a human form. <laughs> an angel is coming upon you in a human form. <laughs> you will meet him in your way. <laughs> you will meet him in the marketplace. <laughs> You will meet him in your village. You will meet him in your community. You will meet him in the church. You will meet him anywhere. An angel is about to come. Amen. Revelation chapter 20 mm. from verse 1. Mm. John said, And I saw an angel come down from heaven. From heaven, not from Dubai. <laughs> not from America. Where will my help? Not from London. Where will and my the help? other day. David says, I will look out to the hills. He said, where my help comes from? He said, my help does not come from my in-laws. My help does not come from my uncle. My help does not come from abroad. My help does not come from abroad. It comes from abroad. It comes from abroad. It comes from abroad. I command your heaven to open. I command your heaven to open. I command your heaven The Bible says for 30 years Jesus 
was living on earth, but his heavens were closed. For that Jesus was living on earth, but his heavens were closed. But the Bible said that there he saw John the Baptist as he entered the water. The Bible said, and the heaven opened, and a voice come from heaven. He said, This is my beloved son. Whom I am well pleased. Yes, I prophesy to you. Tonight, your heavens are open in the name of Jesus. Say your heavens are open in the name of Jesus. Your heavens are open in the name of Jesus. Voices coming on your behalf. Voices coming on your behalf. He shall say, This is my beloved son. Make him a millionaire. This is my beloved son. Make him marry this year. This is my beloved daughter. This is my beloved son. Give him his job. You don't serve a dead boy. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. Your doors are open. Your doors are open. Let me hear your amen like thunder. Yes, sir. The Bible said for 30 years. I am a man. Doesn't matter how long it has lasted. Yes, yes, yes. I don't care to know. I am a man. You have not achieved for 40 years. I am a man. I don't care to know. How long you have spent on poverty? I don't care to know. How long you have spent in sickness? I don't care to know. What has not happened in your family before? I don't care to know. Whether you have money in your pocket or not. David says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Yes, he restoreth my soul. Yes, he leads me in the paths of righteousness. Yes, For his name's sake, yes, though I walk yes, in the valleys of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, Hallelujah. they comfort me. Hallelujah. Thou prepares a devil before me in the presence of my Lucifer Hallelujah. in the presence of my uncle in the presence of my Yes. 
day yes and the evening and the morning I came the first day and the evening and the morning and the evening and the morning he came the first day the Bible said and when the Israelites were remembered and that was the beginning of the year anytime God remembers you it's your own beginning of the year yes sir. I don't know who I'm talking to yes sir. but I'm talking to 7,000 people I that are watching me anywhere you are yes sir. Your time has hallelujah I hear you sir Bravo. talk to me I the Bible says look into the world Shut up. it was not here yeah. there was nothing to write home about yeah. yes. there was full and void yeah. no effects yeah. nothing to show for it yeah. no evidence in the world yeah. and the bible says yeah. god said let there be light yeah. and there was light yeah. out of nothing yeah. he created something yeah. i don't know whom you are yeah. there may be nothing in your life yeah. you are a candidate of miracle uh -huh. there is nothing in your family uh -huh. there is a candidate of miracle uh -huh. There is nothing in your bank account for a candidate of miracle because out of nothing something shall be created. Lift your hand and shall fire. Fire. Lift your hand and shall fire. Lift your hand and shall fire. Shake your leg and shall fire. I want to hold your hand. I want to make a declaration. Ayakada. I don't know what is about to happen. But, to me, but this service is a brutal one. Uh, it's a brutal service. Yes, sir. It's a brutal service. Yes, sir. I don't know what is about to happen. Uh, but something is about to unleash. Uh, in this house. Uh, can I pray for this lady? Can I pray for you? Come. Can I pray for you? Yes. Is your mother or your father here? My mother. Your mother? <laughs> Where is the mother of this lady? Are you the mother? Are you Mrs. Amadi? Yes, sir. Now, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw a woman in your family that said, Ugo can never live to fulfill what your mouth said she would be. Ugochi. Ugochi Nyere. Ugochi. Are you Ugochi Nyere? Yes, sir. Because what I saw in the realm of the spirit, I saw an altar where they took your name to. And when they brought your name, they brought an image. And they brought water, put water in a waterproof. And they tied the water in the tummy of the image. And they said, as long as this water is here, that this tummy cannot go down. Mm. That's what the Lord is showing me. And that woman said, I will make sure that she goes by this. Oh, who will speak? And it will come to pass. Hey! How long is the tummy? Can I see your stomach? You have gone to a hospital. The doctor said they see something like a cloud of water. Yes, sir. That's exactly what they saw. Yes. It is not a physical water, the water is in an altar. But the Lord said, I should puncture that water to come out of that place. Any altar carry your name. Any altar carry your picture. Any altar carry your matter. Let the altar catch fire. Let the altar catch fire. Let the altar catch fire. Let me hear you shout fire. I want to hold your hand and pray prayer. I don't got it to try. Mosotuka. Put your hands. Come, madam. Put your two hands there. Your fellow woman did it. You are a fellow woman. Say after me, say today. Say today, today, as I begin to pray, as I begin for to my pray, daughter, for my daughter, every water, every water, I don't any image, I don't any I image, you, I control you, I control you, I control you, I control you, dry, 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 Ede kuliange, e kusata tamanata, e de kola karama. Look at it. Don't say 
say it's done. it's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's done. By next week. Amen. I hear in the Diamaka. Jesus. Jesus. I want to pray with you. I hear in the Diamaka. If you are the person, come quick. And let me pray for you. And let me pray for you as quick as possible. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Where is your father? On the village. Which village? Obeledu in Anambra State. Eh? Obeledu in Anambra State. Where? Obeledu in Anambra State. Where is your father? On a village. Where is your father's village? Obeledu. Is your father sick? Yes, sir. How sick? Yes, sir. How sick is he? Leg. Eh? Eh? His leg. His leg. His leg. I yeah. saw your father cripple. Madam, stand out. Stand out. Stand out. I saw your father what? Crippled. Crippled. But God said I should return that poison back to the sender. Yes. yes. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Look at a charm. Look at your father. Jesus Christ. 1960 was when there was independence. Am I right? Yes, sir. 1960. 1960. What I saw happened 1960. 1960. Is anybody here? Is there anybody here that was born in 1960? Eh? Anybody? A man, you were born in 1960. Eh? Were you born in 1960? Come this way. Let him come. Let him come out. Mega is a small boy. <laughs> when were you born? 1960. Eh? 1960. 1960. Yes, sir. How old are you? Oh, I'm 55 years old. Eh? 55 years. He's an ancestor. 55 years. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you are laughing. You should be crying. Yes. Eh? I'm supposed. You are supposed to be crying. Yes, sir. Who is Patrick? I'm Patrick. I hear you, sir. <laughs> Emana Kasha. Go deeper. You are supposed to be crying, sir. You know why? God has designed life so that life will start favoring you from 30. But a particular woman the day you were born hear this two, three days after your birth a woman came to bath you in your house as is your mother alive my mother has dead is dead a woman came to bath you when she was bathing you People we had left her where she was bathing you. And after bathing you, she carried the water. She used to bath you. Went outside like she was going to pour it away. Poured it inside a container. Carried it to her own house. And used the same water to bath her own son. What happened? He washed, she washed away all your star. And carried your star and gave the son. And from that day, everything about your life closed. Closed. Lift your right hand. Mashata. Are you from Bitolu? Are you from Bitolu? Yes, sir. Eh, Orodo. Yes, sir. Orodo. Obi Orodo. Yes, sir. Are you Patrick Ahumarezi? Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. I hear you, sir. Master, come close. Are you married? No, sir. Do you have any child? I have a child, yeah. But you're not married? No, sir. Is life good? Mm, my son, life is good. Is life good for you? No. You are a graduate? Yes, sir. No job? No. Nothing? Nothing, yes, sir. Deeper. Everything is scattered. The reason God raised 
Moses' men, he saw that whatever another man has done, when the right men appear, they intercept and they scatter it. And they bring a revival and a revitalization and a rejuvenation and a repositioning and a, a reconstruction. There's going to be, listen to me, sir. I don't care to know. Jesus stayed 30 years. A tap at no share. You are 55. But the Lord said to me, between now and the next five months. Oh. Take this handkerchief. Wipe your face. Wipe it. Keep wiping. Keep wiping. Keep wiping. Keep wiping. Keep wiping. I bring back your star. 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 Amen. Oh God, Amen. Ah. Oh God. Everything that has not worked for you, Amen. let them begin to work. Amen. I bless you. I favor you. It's your own. Congratulations. It is done. Hallelujah. Lift your two hands, everybody. Can I close this service? Lift your hands. Lift your hands. It's done. It's done. Five months from now, your star is back. That young man has built houses everywhere. Lagos, Abuja. He even just bought a house in London. It is done. It's done. Go and succeed. Five months after now. Come and let me dedicate your first car. Go ahead. Lift your right hand, everybody, before I drop the microphone. The Bible says, Where the man of God read Genesis 38, verse 10. And Bible says, When God saw that what honor did was pleased him, he slew him. Listen to me. There are people who have done you much wrong. There are people who are the architect of your troubles in life. Tonight, God is no more happy with what they have done in your family. <laughs> this is a night of judgment. Uh. The Bible said, God saw what he did was not good. Uh. He's who dead. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Say, my father, my stronghold. Oh, my father, my stronghold. Say, my father, my weapon. My father, my weapon. Any man. Any man. That has done me evil. That has done me evil. Any man. Any man. That has done me wickedness. That has done me wickedness. Say that. Say that. Keep it tonight. Tonight and God. was killed by somebody whoever that killed them help them help them in the next few minutes God will begin to judge them <laughs> bring your 
daughter up. She's healed. Congratulations. Bring me this stomach on fire night. It's flat. It's done. You are wonderful. Nobody should step out of this hall right now because God is about to judge your enemy, number one, and God is about to lose you from anywhere they tied you. I'm gonna do these two prayers and I will close. Lift your hands. Somebody say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, Mama, I pray for you. The Lord said to me, You will eat the fruit of your labor. Amen. Amen. You will eat the fruit. Amen. I see you inside the place where they have vowed you will never eat the fruit of your labor. I see a woman who is pushing you away to take your position. But God said, enough is enough. He said, for three years, you have been under pressure in that home. Yes. The home has been unbearable. Mm. In fact, you've decided to walk out of the marriage plenty times. Yes. But it is only some few things that are keeping you. Yes. Something happened last year, August. Mm. Last year, August was a very bad time for you. Yes. You, you almost died, but yes. God saved you. Yes. So God said to me, the evil has been ranging, but right now God is ready to rise against that evil. Amen. Can I shock you? Three days from now, somebody will confess and die in your husband's house. Amen. If I hear an amen, God will release grace upon your life. Hey. Hallelujah. Who was a banker? Who was a banker? Was a banker. Were, were you a banker? Yes. Eh? Yes. What are you doing now? Nothing. Little bit, nothing. Nothing. Yes. Eh? Yes. Now you were up, but now you are crashed. Yes. Can I carry you up again? Yes. Please. Stand on top of your chair. Hallelujah. Mama, shake my hands two times. Power. Grace. Mama, shut up. Etana malia la baharo sanakaba. Mantele kando sakama lepa nebosha lababash. You know what I just saw? I saw you entering the gates of government house with a squeezed face on the fourteenth of next month, and I saw you coming out with a smiling face. Hallelujah! Write Hallelujah. it down. I don't prophesy lie. I profess Hallelujah! Fourteenth of next month. Let me pray for this man. You've been coming here for how long? How long have you been coming? For almost four years. How long have you been coming here, this ministry? You don't reach four years now. No, you never reach. You don't reach. We never reach four years, Seth. <laughs> who, 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 who brings him? <laughs> eh? It's me, sir. Your son. When do you people start coming here? Do you to reach over two years it's over two years over two years yeah. you'll be coming yeah. and your eyes are blind for two years but god has not remembered you in two years but right now god said it's your time Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. how many of you know him he's he's been here every, all the way all the while how long have you been blind sir since when since one year since one year now mm. Eh? Yeah. So when you were coming before, you were seen, and all of a sudden, every eh? how long has he been blind? But before she told her wife that it's five years or four years, but it's not um, one year. Hmm? How long have you been blind? Who are you to him? Um, his wife's um, brother. His his wife's brother. Is your father? Yes. Is your father okay? Papa K Bibi in a nibu. Uh Ele Bibi. You won your way. Would you the girl? Onye be Moronjo. Umoronjo. Yes. Owere. Bring me an oil. Do you want to see now? I told me who's a boo. Hey! Bring the oil and run. 
Bulaka. Ebezila, Chukuna so, Agini buso buki, Nima nadiga digi da. Your husband, are you the wife? Yes, are you pregnant? Yes, How many months? Seven months. Seven months. Stop crying. Is it your first baby? No. What baby? Second baby. Second baby. Yes. The first one is after eleven years. The first one. You delivered that one after eleven years. Yes. yes. And how many years is that one? Three years. Senior after. to this one. Three, Three years. years. Now, what close the eyes of your husband? I don't want to go into it. But God said to me, when blessings enter, curses disappear. Hallelujah. I lift my hands and I place upon your eyes. Amen. Touch the keyboard for me. Uh -huh. Motalara. Rabadangash. Debabalebro Sokrodosika. Eshetele Balanamaniga. Ekotoshetika. Shida. to open. Amen. Let it 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 open. Amen. Can you see me? Can you see me? See me here. Can you see me? Hallelujah. 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 In a home. In a home. Ah. Somebody you are just looking like are you seeing me? Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Daddy. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay. Uh. Somebody shout! I'm going to go to the house. Glory to God. Stop crying. Come, madam. The battles you have fought for this man are uncountable. Uh. Because the people fighting him are too much. And he cannot carry it. You've been the one in the car fasting and praying for him. And the whole attack is coming on you. But God said to me, in the next 14 days. Uh. Anybody who has resisted your husband and yourself, <laughs> judgment shall hit them right now. Shaking our glory. Shaking our glory. You reign forever. I come and hit on the gag. Akama hitu onye di gagi Akama hitu onye di gagi Akama hitu onye di gagi Oge rola mbiti abike Oge rola mbiti abike Oge rola mbiti abike Oge rola mbiti abike He said Eh unu onye leba, unye leba Unye leba I'm gonna feel no God is in this house Hallelujah I speak every disease huh. hiding in any part of your body. <laughs> Madam, come. 
the day you deliver your enemies will be asleep amen in the name of jesus amen. i want to pray for this woman Stop crying. Woo. Wait. How many of you know God is very real? In this season, every sickness in your life comes to an end now. Uh-huh. I need to pray for you. Sir. Come. Somebody stood before the governor on Friday and spoke against you. Somebody stood before the governor on Friday and slandered your name. Huh. And let me talk to you, sir. Eh? Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Now, what is waiting for you is something you can't imagine. So God said, an angel needs come in the form of a man to speak on your behalf if not Amen. everything that is ongoing will be collected from you and there's going to be a retracement it, you, it will take you down because the man did not just go to speak he took something somewhere put in his mouth and went to speak there's a burial in your, in your husband's house tomorrow yes. Eh? Yes. there's a burial in your husband's house tomorrow yes. come two of you come the person that died died in the north yes eh? yes where did he die zaria in zaria yes they brought him back from zaria his children don't want to put money in the barrier his children has even left his corpse in the mortuary it is your own son that is bringing him back yes. and as i speak are you the husband i am the lord said to me he said in that burial tomorrow there's supposed to be a fight because the person that killed the man put a enmity in the midst of the children and the man is now saying how can i put a enmity in the children and so that they cannot bury the man and you and your own sons now want to go and bury somebody he's fighting against now let me re, re strategize the battle and let him face your family Amen. that is what the man is doing and that is why from the moment your, your son started catherine your wife her life her health everything went down it is not ordinary it's an arrow it's projected but god said i should cover you you go for that burial tomorrow and he said everything they sent against you it will return back to them and listen to me something is going to happen by 7 30 in the night tomorrow in that your village where you come from and when it happens who no no go no the name of the lord shall be raised high and every evil man shall go down <laughs> Amen. I heal your father. Amen. It's done. Madam, your case is settled. Amen. Your matter is settled. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Can I close now? <laughs>